Hey, what's up, Taurus? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a star spread, and then after that, a couple of clarifiers after that, and then um, just one of the messages that come out in the cards. We're going to start with um, a star spread for the month of November. up a little bit more. This will be for Taurus. Okay. Taurus placement. Star spray. This is your foundation. It is the chariot. So if you guys are uh, about to start something. This is you. Oh, the five of cups. This is what you want. It's the strength card. Maybe you want a Leo. These are um, your hidden factors, is the Ten of Wands. This is um, your obstacles, is the Knight of Pentacles. And the outcome is the Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take maybe. The sun. Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Outcome. Outcome of the star spread is the ten of pentacles. Awesome. Okay. So, and the bottom of the deck is the nine of cups. Okay, so it looks like, you know, it's something uh, about going on a journey. Right now, it's something that has happened to you that you are feeling sad about. Something has disrupted your life. Going to put clarifiers. So, for your foundation. You have the chariot and you have the ten of pentacles. So this is something that you've completed. This is something that um, is done, uh, which is also um, double confirmation with the ten of pentacles in your outcome. So what you're working towards perhaps is something in career-wise. Let's see what the five of cups is. Oops. The five of cups is clarified oh, with the world and with the five of pentacles. So yeah, so fives means disruption right there's going to be something like going on the world is like um, an ending but it's a completion and um the five of cups is something that you're feeling sad about um it could maybe be some type of third party situation like at work maybe your foundation is a new beginning Maybe the chariot is signifying like, you know, you're going to have this new beginning. Maybe something has happened. Maybe you were let go from work or something isn't going the way that you thought it would go. And you're feeling left out. You're feeling left out of the cold. And um, there is a completion. Or maybe you were like working under contract. You're hoping to get hired for like full-time employment and you didn't. What you want is the strength. Clarify, yeah, what you want is, is that opportunity. You want to have the strength. Maybe you want to um, 
you know, start looking for another job and you have to like talk about yourself a lot, like talk about all the things that you do, all the things you accomplish, maybe like lots of interviews and stuff. So you want to be able to um, convey yourself in a, not a convincing way, but just like a ste you're steady, you're a good worker. Hidden obstacles, um, was, or what was hidden was the Ten of Wands. Um, so something that you had to end, maybe, and, and that the Hermit, maybe something like, you know, you need to accept that you really weren't all that happy. This job actually sucked. It's actually maybe, oh, see, it's actually maybe like, um, it was destined for, you, for this to happen. You're going to be happier without it. Obstacles, <clears throat> excuse me, was the Ten of Pentacles and um, the Nine of Pentacles. So that's more like working on yourself. So maybe it's, um, you know, putting in work, having a positive mental attitude. Um, you know, that's something that maybe you need to overcome. Um, Yeah, work on your like stability or uh, maybe this a little bit too is like you're going to or you need to, you know, plant some seeds to kind of work on your stability. Slow and steady. Maybe it can't be, maybe part of two, what you're hoping for is like something like right now, right now, since this is your wants is like the strength card and the ace of pentacles. So maybe you're thinking like I need something right now and I just need like a totally new opportunity that will like change my whole life because maybe you feel down because like the thing that you were doing didn't work out or you're laid off which totally sucks and you feel like maybe you feel insecure about it you're thinking like or your your thoughts are like a burden maybe feeling bummed out is like a burden Maybe this, be in the Kermit mode and just like isolating yourself is kind of like a burden making you feel worse. The outcome though is the Six of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're going to be waiting for your abundance. You'll be waiting for an equal give and take. Maybe it's like uh, obstacles in seeing your worth. So you need to see that, you know, you need, you can work on yourself and have like, um, whatever, like, um, become a better person for this in the end. Yeah. And the sun is clarified with the wheel of fortune. So that's awesome. I mean, it's showing that this is fate. Uh, you might be dealing, um, with another fixed sign. Um, that might be important, or this is like about you, since you are in the Wheel of Fortune too, or maybe, um, you're seeking guidance, um, on how to, like, manifest this, which is also awesome. Working on, like, manifestation or working with, like, a, a healer. And then you're gonna see, like, like your soulmate and everything, um, you know, you're going to get that again. This was the foundation. Perhaps that's like what you wanted or what you thought you had. But in the end, you clarify again with the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups that you're going to find what you were looking for. Yeah, maybe um, an air sign might rush in with an offer. Or that's you. Um, taking charge of your life. Yeah, and there's... um justice so perhaps like um you feel like you feel like you were um like terminated unfairly like perhaps you're laid off or like they gave somebody else your hours or something so now you don't have as many hours as you wanted and you're like you know i really needed this job or whatever but in the end maybe somebody's gonna rush in and um you can get justice you can you can get, you know, what's coming to you because you were, you were a good worker. You didn't deserve that to happen. 
But maybe they just had to, maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe they just had to pick somebody. They had to cut somebody's hours or whatever. Uh, Ace Swords, yeah, you get clarity, you get justice. And the queen of cups okay now i'm starting to repeat stuff so that's like somebody who's like um maybe something that can help you it might be a woman um it might be a water sign um to kind of help you find balance in your life and the king of pentacles is on the bottom so yeah like you're going to be working on your stability you're going to be working on um finding out what was meant to be for your happiness the wheel of fortune and the sun card but if the sun card is in you know the spread that's how you know like especially since that's in the outcome and with the wheel of fortune that like everything is going to be good like you're getting help from like your ancestors or help from god or like you know, to find out, like, what you're really supposed to be doing. So maybe this is, like, a bump in the road or something like that, but you're going to find out, like, what you're really supposed to be doing. Okay, so this one. So that's that. I hope that was helpful. Now I'm just going to see what, if there's any other messages, like, aside from just, like, that story. Spread that come up. That would be helpful um, for your toys. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. The Four of Swords. Um, this to me right now uh, is not like um, a very negative card. It's really cold in LA, and that's like personally all I want to do is lay down in bed. I had like soup because I was so cold wasn't even hungry, it's just cold. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the nine of swords? Okay, I'll be serious. There's something that, you know, this Taurus is up all night about. Something you're worried about. Could strongly be an air sign. Could strongly be like only at nighttime. Maybe you're fine and you know, when you're working and everything. And the second like you get home and you're just like you crawl in bed. You're sad. Something that you feel like you're putting a lot of work on. Maybe you're dealing with um, a water sign. Maybe this water sign is confused about what they want. Queen of Pentacles. This doesn't apply to the cold. And maybe you're like going, maybe you're spending time on your own working on stuff. Um, this just kind of reminds me of like these memes I've been seeing about like people being stressed out and buying plants. And they say every time I have a bad day, I get a plant. I buy a plant and the, now their whole house is like filled with plants. Maybe you're trying to work on yourself. Um, it also reminds me of this like Amy Winehouse song. And she's saying like, you know, during the day it's all good, like whatever. But then at nighttime, like once I'm alone, the nights are lonely. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe you need to work on this. Learn how to be single. Who's this King of Cups? King of Cups is somebody that you see as stable. 
I mean, this person, uh, this king of cups actually holds that. They're very reserved. Maybe they're focused on, you know, saving money. Maybe it's an earth sign. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah. And somebody wants this. Maybe this is you. Or the other person who's Saturday night. Um, somebody wants a new opportunity. Justice. It could be dealing with a Libra. This seems to be more like. I see something happen. You put it in the work. Something went wrong. You decided to go off on your own, do things on your own, be single, work on yourself. Uh, this other person, let's see. The other person could be a water sign. Let's focus on their money. They're spying on you. They're seeing that you're doing so well. They're seeing that, you know, you're starting to move on. Maybe that's what they're seeing. Maybe they're checking you online. They're seeing that you're moving on. And by moving on, it's like even just taking care of yourself, realizing your worth, working on yourself, working on your garden, buying all those plants that they said, you know, but what you and what you really want and they can tell is that you want a new opportunity. You want um, balance. You're working on work. This person is maybe hiding how they feel. Yeah, this person's actually really sad. They feel really bad because whatever has happened, um, they're really sad about it. Sword. Yeah, that it's about happiness. Maybe they're realizing that because you're focusing on your happiness. Now they're realizing that it really was just about being happy. Do what makes you happy. Yeah. Maybe they're going to start going into that hermit mode. Yeah. Because they have to figure out a way to get back to you. They have to figure out a way to like work with you. Because they think that you are their soulmate. So how do you think of how, how do you feel about this person? Um, it came out kind of fast, but I'll take it. The six of wands. So you do want to. Have, maybe you do want to have that new opportunity for them. Maybe you want balance. You want to find balance, and you like a victory with this person. Oh, maybe you have other choices, or maybe um, a little bit, you need to be realistic. You need to actually look at what has happened. Um, um, let's switch. of cups um yeah okay so this is you but this is how you feel is it how you feel about your person and so you feel like they have a lot of opportunities you feel like they have other people that they're considering um maybe you saw on their social media or whatever that they've met somebody else they've met like a, a page of wands would be like an interesting person um, or maybe they they just kind of have like a you feel like they have a new opportunity maybe they're pretending okay here we go so they're pretending like everything is fine this person is pretending like it's all good 
they're showing it like on the internet they're like whatever their social media is like they're like dude everything is great i'm doing all of these things but in actuality they're in the three of swords so you're seeing it on their pages or whatever maybe you guys still follow each other see each other's pages and you're like oh well i guess that they're happy with the queen of swords i guess they're happy this is how you think about them so how do how do they feel about you the king of <laughs> reserve still okay maybe they think that you're not showing your emotions either the ace of swords oh they believe that you've had clarity that's how they feel about you oh maybe they think yeah that you're like marriage um potential this is how they feel about you that you are you are an opportunity you are a new opportunity for this you are stable you are loving caring reserved um patient all these things that they want they're trying to pretend like they are that too they're like mirroring you or whatever um trying to say that they're happy okay what's the outcome of this having an ending for a new beginning so there is a completion maybe it's an ending of having things that are in imbalanced imbalanced not balanced outcome uh working hard on it that's cool um a judgment maybe you guys are gonna have a talk and you'll actually talk about it and like, this is what's up what's the outcome moving to common water so that's good too like I said, there's some kind of ending, so you'll be moving on past this. Oh, some people will be moving on. Maybe you'll you'll realize that um, it, it isn't what you wanted. Death is at the bottom. And the swords yeah you could be walking away from the pain maybe that deals with the six of swords so maybe it's walking away but you're leaving the painful stuff behind maybe you guys are going to go to counseling talk about this judgment maybe this judgment is like going to a counselor doing online counseling talking about like what really happened and you start leaving the bad stuff behind. Or you go to counseling and you realize like, okay, no, this was actually a good thing that we broke up. <laughs> it could happen. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see if we get um, a different message for Taurus. Oh, I have a source at the bottom of the deck. Message for Taurus. Give me the cards I need to see, please. Walking away from something. <clears throat> Some stability. Maybe a view. And the same so four of swords. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Oh, it's crazy. Like it's just the same cards coming up. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. What the heck? The sun. What the heck? This is more like the um like the first spread too, right? Like the star spread. Maybe there's only um, okay, it's the swords, yeah. These are all like the same cards coming out. Maybe it's just still not that many messages right now. The six of wands, yep, still. And the sun. And the ten of cups, okay. 
I'm the same. The two is one. No, it's actually like a totally different thing. <clears throat> Justice of Tuck card. Okay, still the same card. Maybe you're walking away from a Libra. You want a new opportunity. You know, new opportunity. The death card is walking away from from something. You walked away from something that even though you thought that it was stable, you thought that um, you were planting seeds, um, it just, it just wasn't going to work out. You realize what, with the Ace of Swords that this person that you thought was your, your soulmate, maybe, or this is just a decision, a love is also a decision that you made because you got clarity over something. Um, <clears throat> looks like you got clarity. Maybe there was a third party situation. Got a little message. A little birdie told you. What you wanted was Ten of Cups. But now you're at the Two of Swords because you had the Ace of Swords. So now you're at the Two of Swords. You got the information. Now you have to make a decision. With some that you don't know, but it's something that you thought was a Ten of Cups, but you are now in a Three of Cups situation, which I guess could be good, but it seems like third party because you're walking away. If this was like Three of Cups, like a celebration, why would you walk away from that? The Nine of Pentacles. It's a strange card, and so it's, you know, going slow. Three of Pentacles. And the five of wands, okay, maybe it was just like, um, just constant fighting over stability. Six of wands and the nine of pentacles, so you're finding success in being single. The four of swords and the ten of, of <clears throat> pentacles, so... You maybe worked with this person, or you're, yeah, walking away, and the hermit, yeah, four of swords, walking away, ten of pentacles, maybe you, you're stressed out about thinking that this person was a ten of cups, a ten of pentacles, like whatever. And the King of Cups again. King of Cups in the last spread. Um, so maybe for some Tauruses, you're going to meet a water sign. Or you're going to meet um, somebody else. The Ten of Cups is clarified with the Devil and the Magician. <clears throat> so... Um, Maybe that's trying to say, like, don't let anything fool you. You have what it takes to reach your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. Yeah, even for your Ten of Cups, you don't know what to do. That's part of the devil, is having this indecisiveness. So you right now need to figure out what's going to make you happy. This person didn't make you happy. What's, what's the, what are you going to do now? The Four of Cups, yeah. You feel like you missed out on something. 
page of cups. Hey, somebody's gonna come and apologize. Somebody have a small offer and the four of pentacles, um, but somebody's still holding back. And the six, two, six of swords, but that's the last spread. The six of swords, so you'll be moving to calmer waters. Seven of cups, you'll have a lot of options. Um, let's see, who is this justice card? Who is this? The page of wands. Um, somebody that came in and maybe is like younger than you and was just like a lot of fun, but they were just a lot of fun. The seven, oh, okay, yeah, and the seven of swords, so they were kind of messing around, they were deceiving you, that's this third party thing, it's something that you kind of thought you put in a lot of effort in and you're like, thought could be the ten of cups, but then you had to find out something and cut it out. Any of oh, the sun's at the bottom again. Any advice? Ten of wands, see it as it is. Queen of Swords, go for your uh, go for your happiness. Just cut it out. Pretty cut and dry. See it for what it is. I'm seeing the same cards again in the shuffle, so we'll see the Nine of Swords, the Sun, the Five of Wands, the Magician. We'll see if something new comes up. Messages for Taurus, show me the cards I need to see, please. Oops, there's a little battery. Hold on one second. So the sun card again. So maybe that's just like overall energy. Can't make it stop. Crap. How do I do this? Sorry. So oh, sorry, so sorry. Okay. Um, the sun is here. A new opportunity might be here. Let's try to do this. Oops. The strength card again. You could be dealing with a Leo. I don't know why I always think of the sun and I think of Leo too. Could be dealing with children. Um, could be dealing with a boss lady. I see a lot of yellow here. Yellow t is like enlightenment. Knowing something, finding out something, and then boom, tower card. Oh, all of these are major arcana too. That's crazy. The sun, the empress, the chariot, the strength, the tower. Some kind of like once in a lifetime opportunity is coming. The Five of Swords, there's going to be competition. Judgment, maybe it's like a lot of interviews. The King of Cups, you're, you're being chosen because they see your strength, they see your leadership. The Three of Swords, yeah, there may be somebody like trying to deceive you. Oh, the tower is about success though. So this is gonna bring you success. 
or something else has happened in your past, like these other spreads where you've been upset about something, well, don't worry about it anymore because something awesome is going to happen. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so even though some people might be trying to do something to you, it's going to be Ten of Cups. It's going to be the Four of Wands. This tower is good. You're getting your justice. Or this could be that Libra. Okay. Because you're going to walk away from the things that you don't know. Or you're going to walk away from the feeling insecure. Or, um, you know, just, just feeling like maybe you're not going to be enough. You're going to walk away from that. Because mm -hmm. you know that you've put in a lot of work. You know that you, in the end, you deserve this this job. Mm -hmm. Been thinking, you've been preparing. And there it is. Okay, well that's all the messages I think that I sent today. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Okay, bye.